And the question on my lips is, do we have transcoding? <laughs> Let's have a look. Yay! We got transcoding first try. Nice. Move over to the live screen and uh, do a bit of uh, social mediaing. Okay, that's this Discord done. What else do we have? Of course, Bookface needs doing because, of course, it does. I've only just released the video from yesterday as well, mainly because since all this Twitch debacle, um, when I click to export directly from. bloody twitch um <clears throat> it won't it keeps saying yeah, your other account is not um whatever you know and it, it's like it is <laughs> but um it won't let you do it so <laughs> great all right just see need to just Modify that slightly. There we go, that should do. Okay. I think that's all the social mediaing done. We can close that down, we can close down Chromie. Netmal, welcome to the stream. Haven't seen you for a little while. No, I haven't. Um tell Hodore. Join. There we go. You're invited to Hodor Raid. Goody good. And F. Hodor Raid. On LFT as well. A little early. It doesn't start for 30 minutes. Mine usually gets stuck processing for four days and cancel. Yeah, that's a, that's a YouTube thing though. Um, you best to just re-upload. It, it does this sometimes. Two options. One is, um, yay, my raid windows are not broken. Uh, one is, do a very small edit to the video, like crop one second off the end or something like that, and then, um, if need be, edit it back, and it will re-render it. So, bleh. Some real life stuff until November. Oh, right. Okay. Well, I hope everything's okay, my dude. But yeah. You has joined the raid. Yep. Anyway, little updates on the tune. I will probably be saying this a few times, but um, yes, we've upgraded some of the memory because, well, we needed to. Savik, welcome to the stream. And the armor's pretty much exactly the same. The difference is now I did the beaters. Yes, I did. Didn't this afternoon. Apart from thigh and ear, everything else is a beater. Wasn't hard at all even without a bock. So, you just have to put them in in the right kind of order for it to work. I'd done most of them, then did hand, eye, and then brain. Kind of, you know, that kind of, yeah, I did right arm, left arm, left wrist, right wrist, waist, foot, left hand, then I did right hand, eye, and then head. So I can I I can uh, Mongo demolish I can I malice I can superior fortify etc. Looking good now. Oh, I should get the daily, shouldn't I? I should get the daily. Uh, yeah, I can do it very quickly as well.
What I need to do though is character saved. Yeah, 216 made it relatively simple to uh, sort out. That and I have AI 30 now, which is just redonkulous. <laughs> Um, and I've got lots of nice little twinking it items as well, he said, hiccuping. Uh, excuse me. So yeah, it wasn't too bad. Solitus never really is difficult, to be honest. Sky Cannon. Hey Carl, I'm watching for my new flat. Nice. Well, I hope you're settling in very well. First thing you should do in your new flat is, is get four lagers uh, and have a party on your own <laughs> and then when you wake up it really feels like yours i don't know why that is but it's a thing yes ai30 uh sav uh, it went rather well and if when you watch the vod which i only just released actually um i'll do nightheart because we'll definitely get that far um then <clears throat> Um, when we got to Elysium, Space Quest started messing around after he spawned the Seekers. He started going, you know what we need? We need to warp you back into the middle of them and make you run round. <laughs> I was like, thanks. It was pretty funny, though. Uh, he did it about three times. I even beaconed all the way to Shadowlands again. You know, back to Inferno Garden, and he bloody walked me from there, then walked me to the Inferno Raid, which is just hilarious. So yes, just just XP and research to complete now. Uh, I got a lot of research done during the raid as well, so I'm now, as far as Apotheosis 8, Apotheosis 9 requires 218, and Apotheosis 10 requires 220, which is kind of cool. Bear87, welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. And Court is taking a break from AO. Since at AI30, I logged yesterday. I heard swords were given away on RK29. Yeah, Nippies, and he did the same loot on 2019 as he did on, on live. So, yeah. Don't put me in an important team. I, I can do the nanos. I am rusty on Enforcer though, although straight away this Enforcer's got better nano pool. I'm trying to figure out where the the cost thing is. Now I'll put it all back together. I got rid of um for the sake of more NCU space. I've kept that so I can't be interrupted. Uh recompiler because recompiler and the cost do hickey, which I think I still need because I'm not reducing cost that much yet until I get some, you know, bigger better scarier looking items etc sounds like space quest yep yeah. and there was very kind people donating subs and and such in the chat which was uh, which was awesome Space, yeah, Space Quest was. You saw Space Quest in the chat, I think, did you, Saf? I think you, you kind of know he's watching the stream when that happens. <laughs> so, yeah. And drop that one. Medical. One goes cracking for the win. That can go as well. It's been there for too long. Proved essence of beer moth. That we'll put there. Um, and such. Nicole, I'm watching from the new flat. Yes, you said. <laughs> Copy paste. <laughs> Congrats on the new flat. I hope you like it. Hope you enjoy it, etc. Do 
I hope you have fun with it, you know, and it's a better place for you and all of that kind of stuff. Yeah, what do I want to put there? Oh, yes, I want to put... No. No. These are just never in any kind of order, are they? Like, everything else. I did manage to... I ended up going, right, that's it, and charged at the Seekers. And then as soon as I charged at the Seekers, it was like, Mongo, 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 <laughs> dragging them all with me. So, yes, there you go. Someone was selling um, a condemned bulwark as well today. Oh, I was tempted to go and get it. I really was. I've been around six to eight months since I last logged into this beautiful game. Has anything changed since Tencent? Nope. Yeah, Tencent have had zero effect whatsoever on Anarchy Online. Literally zero. Nothing nothing different has happened or anything else, so... Kind of weird. That's weird. I thought I deleted that from my inventory. But it's here. Oh, I, I see. This device passes your damage as... I, I was thinking that was the um, Alien Daily or something. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I didn't even pull an Alien Daily today, there's no point, I'm AI-30 now. So, the only reason to pull one is, you know, to have access via the mission building directly to um, the Alien Playfield. Oh yes, this his first decent night's sleep was had last night. Nice. Omni's still alive. Yeah, as far as I know. They won't be featuring very much in... Uh, Hodor Raid, because it's neutral and clan. But last night I joined up with Raid for All, which is open to all, and it was 50-50. Or, you know, 45-45 and 10% neutral. That kind of thing, you know. So now has rather good, well, more NCU than I had. Quite a bit more now, I think. We've got sentiment via recorder. I wait until someone goes around doing the 500 buff. <laughs> Hellcom might be gone, but Raid for All came charging back, etc. I don't know what happened with Hellcom. I don't really play at that level, uh, you know, with Omni or what have you. <clears throat> What's this thing? Oh, do I actually have to do a thing with it to have this? I should have just got the beast one, shouldn't I? This device passes your damage output and when used so I've, I've got to click this bloody thing when we're fighting Zods and such. Great. <laughs> I didn't realise it did that. I thought you just killed them and it recognised you. You know, you had a mission that said, like the Night Heart here. The edge of the Shadowlands. Diddly diddly duh. Equip your best violence. Gather your friends. And kill the Night Heart. That's all it says there. Use the tuned agency transmitter on the Nightheart when its health is below 20% to claim your reward. All oh, right, okay. Well, that should be doable. As long as I don't die there. My new... Lovely... My new... Lowly Utopia was gone. Maybe I can start fresh clan side this winter. It's up to you. Omni is still definitely playing the game, etc. There's no, um, suddenly there's no Omni players or anything. Seem to be plenty of them. We we were in a mixed team last night doing um, Dio in between Hodor and the start of the uh, Alien stuff. Blasted through that. We had Savik, who was neutral, me, who was clan, someone else who was clan, and then I think everyone else was Omni.
Yeah, you can definitely play um, neutral, etc. Nothing stopping you from doing that. You can join both Hodor Raid and Raid for All, so we can raid with everyone. There you go. <coughs> Trying to control the light in the room while it's still daylight outside. Always fun. Yeah, I'm going to have to start doing 12-man and get the bits for the star and for the deck and combine them and make a bit of space. After Ragnarok became a distant memory, I've been neutral, yeah. I do enjoy the freedom. Yeah, I can imagine, yeah. You just go wherever you need to go. Don't have to think about it too much. I mean, I'm geared a bit better than some 220s. Well, yeah, some of mine are, like, very much neglected. <laughs> like, right, the 220, I don't want to play with you anymore. Kind of deal, you know? Looks like we don't have a fixer handy for the... Uh, the necessary buffs and what have you. Nano program right control terminated. I've been teaming with Mihalik again, I see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's always the same with um, Mihalik. <laughs> you come away and you've got like everybody else's buffs running. You're like, wait, what? Yeah, this tune's respectable for their level. You know, they could do with, you know, some better armor. I need to give this back to Morphez and get some quality 300. Um, <clears throat> the symbionts are pretty good. I just need to do um, Arid Rift to get the ear, and then Naret Var to get the thigh, and then the beaters are done. I'm not even going to try and do alphas before 220 on this. I will do them, though. It's going to become my new main enforcer. It has to now because I borrowed like four beaters off my, <laughs> my other enforcer to complete this one. I think Delirios possibly wanted. I be a moth. Yeah, when I when I put a full set of the high quality memories on this tune. Uh, on the keeper, I went. Look at that! Look at all the NCU space I have. Everybody took it upon themselves to go. Oh, you think so? <laughs> Start spamming me with all sorts. Ben's lyric. Welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. Yeah. There's a load of bits I, I want to get. Like, I want to get the Condemned Bulwark. I want to get the HUD. I think it's from Pyramid of Home. Uh, I want to finish off the Nano Deck. Get some other items in here. Get, I don't know which improved belt above this one, but one of them at least. That's a thought. Tell. Tell who? No. Odor Raid. Points. Just curious. 868. Huh. 
Well, I'm not going to get much with those, but hey. Yeah, we peaked at something crazy like 170 viewers last night. It was bonkers. It's great for the game, though. And then when we finished, I raided um, the, the community, one of the community directors' streams. Uh, Kina. Or Natasha. Uh, went and raided her stream. And she went, ooh, Anarchy Online's getting busy. And I was like, yes. <laughs> it's popular. Trust me on this. Free for all. Nelly Johnson, breastplate of the Azor Reveries. Nobody wants it. Nobody's holding loot either, though. First come, first served. It's a nice chess piece, that. Even, even today, it's pretty good. So I now have, with the big fixer buff... managed to warp that up here somewhere. Whose team am I in? Seem to be in a bigger team than... Got more people on my team than is possible, I think. No, it's just the way they're stacked. I mean, done the beaters without too much, too much in the way of headaches. I think I'm pretty solid for doing alphas later, and then have this tune as my sort of main enforcer rather than the one I was using. Even though he's, you know, been around an awful lot longer, um, this one already feels a little better. Sounds weird to say, but yeah. Well, I can't remember what kind of... I think I was trying to do like a, a mostly Jathos and whatnot type build on him. I can't remember now, but when you go to play him now, he does feel a bit off somehow. It's not like maybe I was halfway through doing some sorts of uh, upgrades on him, etc. I don't know. But yes, it's all done. AI30 is completed. There you go. All 30 perks. I'm not sure my perks are quite right, though. We've got Bone Crusher, obviously. Form of Troll, though. Um, and then Mutate with the other 10. So I don't know. Don't know. Could go any which way. People have probably got other suggestions for the build, I don't know. Mongo's cracking, I think I'll renew. Just so, just so, you know. So I need to remember to right click this when the night heart gets fairly low, apparently. Right, so with the big friendly fixer buff, I have. 1,393 NCU, which is not bad. So my base buffs look off. Oh yeah, I was doing the beaters and thinking I should have more base abilities than this and realised I hadn't cast my base abilities buff. It's like, you are a noob.
Yes, I'm not feeling fearful in here like I was previously. See, yep, copy, paste to get the macro, drop it in there. God, I've missed all the sounds of anarchy. Well, you can play for free and still have most of the sounds. Obviously, you don't get the Shadowlands music, but you get pretty much everything else, so that's always a good thing. But yeah, the soundscape is um, quite nice. In Anarchy Online, I've always thought so. People go, oh my god, you play with sound. I'm like, yeah. Old AO didn't have sound for pew pewing. Oh yeah, it was always there. Once you subbed, you can't unsub. Right? Me martial artist. <laughs> Pew pew slap. Yep. Yay! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I'm not feeling fearful of mobs and stuff now. Since last week, when we came here, um. Last time on this tune, I was like, mm, got to be careful, there's a lot could be going on, and I can very easily get squished, but I don't feel so squishy now, which is always a good sign. Fighting the Leo first. QQ Leo. So I don't need to do this with all of these, do I? Just the Night Heart. It's the only one I clicked on. So I shouldn't need to. Because they're not the mission. Although there is actually a mission for the, uh, the Zodiacs as well, so... Should check for a few doges when we're here. Nope. Yoik! <laughs> Can't use it till 220, but hey. Got one now. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know with um, Monticell. Want to sell condemn bulwark for twelve man. Wait, what? That sounds awful cheap. For one twelve man raid, that's ridiculously cheap. I'll do a twelve man raid. Can't do it on my own, but maybe that's what they mean they need someone to carry them through a, a twelve man, but Wow. Leo's Grandos Gold Arm of Plenty. Full auto burst and fling shot for 30. It's quite nice. 
even in the day it was considered pretty powerful gear can still be useful even now if you don't have uh, combined armor etc Yeah, I haven't got... Is it Hellish... Is that the top one there? Or is there a higher one than Infernal Rage? Can't remember. But even less idea about where to get it as well. All the pitter-patter of their ickle feet. It's lovely. <laughs> Failed at the jumping. Come on. I'm just pulling everything over here. Kill all the ads. Yeah, there we go. It was like my targeting wasn't quite working or something there. Yeah, so we had takeout pizza last night once I'd finished the raid. Uh, the raid, well, yeah, the <clears throat> the alien event stream and everything else. It was getting on nearly 11 o'clock. Uh, so I sat there, munched all the pizza and then went... <laughs> food coma. Proper takeout pizza. It was gorgeous. Cross-dimensional gyro of Gemini. You know, it's a thing. If you need it, it's a thing. Really want to pump those evades, etc. Someone, is there still time to join? <laughs> Someone came running in a bit late. Let's run off. <coughs> <coughs> the target is teleporting. It's not, it's running away. First mid, use walls again. Yay, walls. There was this second jump that's tricky. Ugh. Oh, seriously? Fine. It's been less time just running and then going up at the corner. <laughs> oh, 
someone doing DB2. I would imagine you find somebody doing it today, but it been DO week, etc. <clears throat> I'm wondering if we've got enough time to get DO done between um, band, that's an iPand, real band, and Sector 42. It's a solid hour usually, so <coughs> as long as we're not too long on um, everything else. Rolling the loot and whatnot. Big Mongo's fun. Call me a liar if not. <clears throat> it definitely feels good. Pew, pew mother father. <laughs> now I got a new book. Oh, I do now. Mongo is the pure is the purest love. I mob I mob hugs. Am I right? <laughs> Excuse me, I'm frogging my time. Sash of Scorpio strength. Scorpio's change looks really good. Plus, you can change the colour, so, you know, the, there's that. I've got broken what's it bars again. Oh. Like, why is Team 2 like seriously lacking on people? Your bars are not working correctly. Now they are. There you go. What was the sash of strength? Strength, body dev, psychology, first aid. Dex slot six. Ah, interesting. So it's like an alternative... Um, belt there. Hunters of Scorpio. Which ones were these? Oh, the feet, yeah. One hand blunt, two hand blunt. Quite interesting. I remember when these were highly sought after items for end game, you know, pre-AI and all that. There's weird distant horns in the ambient sounds for pandemonium, you know. It's really quite creepy. We don't often I don't really notice them unless uh, you know, I've got the speakers on quite loud or I'm using headphones. Um, nano plus percent nano damage is your mongo stronger 
because it is classed as a combat nano, isn't it? Just wondering. Never really thought about it before. Right, now I need to remember at 20%, right click this thing, I'm guessing. It doesn't do, so it doesn't affect the taunt value either. Yeah, I didn't think so. Purely threat rather than anything else. Hello, the Nightheart. First, some words from the ad. Does the taunt scale mm, pass? It may do, actually, yeah. Because enforcers do get the psychology buffs as well, don't they? That worked. <laughs> you gained. Didn't get any music, but hey. Nope from the agency. One of these. Yeah, I think that did it. Yeah, something like that, yeah. And how much psychology you've got. Good, good, um, the enforcer's psi dot mod dot skill. Hmm. So, depends how much psycho mod you've got then. I mean, it's max at the moment, but that was just to be able to cast stuff. But I thought there was psychology as well, yeah. What colour psychology for? Yeah, I could put a lot more in there. <clears throat> I'm not sure, so I'm not going to spend IP in it until uh, till I know. There's some there's some kind of mechanic to it between. Um, <clears throat> I'm sure psychology does come into it, but I can't remember exactly how. Anyway, it's a green skill, so it is something I could easily max later on, sort of thing. There's a taunting item you get. Yeah, I think I've got it. I think it was from Corporal Ashley Winstead or something. This thing. Imperial Annoyance. Taunt for 1463, which kind of pales compared to other things that you get. <clears throat> How much psychology do you need to use it, though? Psychology from 42... It's not it's not particularly high. Like an aggression enhancer but better. Oh, I might might swap to using that now. Give it a try. You never know.
kill all the things. Because reasons. There is a better item, but I can't recall the name. Yeah, I'm wondering if I've already done it or where it comes from. If it's from the Ashley Winstead, that might be reward number one and reward number two might be something else. Or it could be from um, the Sheol quests. I can't remember now. The Pandemonium Subjugator. Isn't there a taunt item from Pand? Yeah, I think there might be, actually. I mean, you can you can pull stuff in Pandemonium with a regular old um, aggression enhancer. I'm using a quality six, and it will still pull mobs across a playfield. Also, an upgraded library of foul language. Uh, that could be a thing, yeah. Oh, and the demonic music of Pandemonium. That's a very precise amount of HP, 47,200. Have I got the dock? I've got EP running as well. <laughs> I think that was while I was using pistols to get some of the symbionts in. When I did um, dailies today, I wasn't struggling. I thought, I wonder how much easier this would be if I had the beaters in, etc. So, got them done and went, reap, we are doing. <laughs> I just did them on my own. I can do them faster on my own than I can on a stream. I think it's because I, I, I can focus my thought. I'm not having to talk and distract myself with things. Versus on a stream, you're talking to a load of people, plus everybody's sort of like sort of chipping in with oh what about the other, the other and this thing and the other thing and the other thing again and thing muck thing face you didn't even think of and you know it gets a bit <laughs> just like more distracting and more difficult to keep your train of thought about what you're actually doing but I will do I'll, I will do the alphas on a stream if I can um just because for the lols for the people that like watching that sort of a thing usually a good plan we killed him so fast he didn't even spawn ads That's nuts. That, that I have seen that before, but it is exceptionally rare, actually. Oh, let's bid. Uh, tell Hodor Raid. Points. You have 1,093. I'm not going to get that for a thousand, but let's try. <laughs> if I get it for a thousand, I'll be happy. Thing is, you, the one could go for forty points on the next run. If there's another one, yay! I want a burden. Can't be an emp without a burden. <laughs> yay! 
for the burden. That would have been made my life ten times easier. There we go. Dun dun dun. It's, it is a cracking armour piece as well. It's just that would have made my life easier doing the beaters. But it'll make Alphas an absolute doddle, so. And it's a better looking piece of armour, I think. Than the uh, Enforcer one. <laughs> It is the time. Yeah, I've got like 10 points again, don't I? Right. Don't need any of the other stuff, so I'm going to head back now. Yeah, yeah, I'm a spiky. <laughs> or something along those lines, yeah. Is that a little dark on stream for you guys? Can you see? I can brighten it a little. A little better. I don't know if I can do anything with this, but maybe. No. <laughs> Turning global light off. Penumbra light. There you go. We can we can have swirly whirly lighting. Swirly whirly lighting. Yeah, Mrs. Callus two's just over there. You okay, dear? Is he eating something again? Are you hungry? All right, I'll do with some sausage and chips or something. Yeah. Uh, Shelby Enfort, no, not tonight. She was last night. She donated ten subs. You're not in shot, <laughs> and the mic won't pick you up from there. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're being so damn quiet. <laughs> uh, no, I said swirly whirly like. I'm not doing the whole raid with that. We'll try Rubicar light. Like. Still dark. I, like I say, I brightened it over on there, but yeah. How are you guys? Can you see that now? Is that better? Worse? No different? What do we think? No, nobody's saying anything, so I'm assuming we're all right. Looks good, better than my own game. Oh, well, there you go, Sav. Let's go and have a lie down. I'll make some food after. We're going to do one of these runs, then there's an hour gap. I know. Yeah. See, we could boost the gamma a little, but it gets a bit milky when you start doing that. Yeah, no. Make it a little brighter. And then you you sort of need contrast back again, and uh, you're just making it worse. Leave it alone. I think is the way. I can see more on the stream feed than I can see in game. I can tell you that. <laughs> Droid Cow, I remember. I remember Droid Cow being in Storm at one point. I think. Seem to remember that, at least. 
but yeah, it's really, really dark in Pandemonium, so... Click to join! You are already in the raid. Just checking. Hello, inside of a chicken bot. <laughs> Diz MF. Hey, Carl. Hey, welcome to the stream. Nice to see you. Little man in the box in the bottom left. That's me waving at you. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. I got the... I got the fixer NCU, but I didn't get a fixer hop, but hey. Still alive. Check the rest of my raid window is working. Seems to be. Not sure why people disappear off it sometimes. Just one of those things. Look like the Zodiac had uh, aggroed there. I've got four fists of Cali running. Or I'm clicked on someone else. I'm clicked on someone else. I'm an umpty. Thinking, why the hell have I got that running? Don't need any M MA skill at the moment. I'm wondering if I've got time to fetch <laughs> fill this with water. I'm gonna chance it. You go as soon as I move away, everything happens. But I am back, so we're okay. You will die, foul beast. Yes, you will. There you go. <laughs> Kill Zod and wait on the wall. Okay. Mr. Zodiac. Level 250. Yeah. 49, 200 HP now, for some reason. I think someone else threw me a buff. Wise guy, FSB, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. How are, how the devil are you? As you can see, we're doing a bit of uh, pandemonium. Yes, we are. Should storm through this, I think. And I just won a bock as well. <laughs> hey! Always useful and always uh, very cool looking. Yeah, liking that. 
thousand points mind, but I kind of want one for this too. Donut holes, guild brazzers. <laughs> really? <laughs> Yay. Yes. Wise guy has arrived with the flying brain slug. Terrifying thought. What about shoulders? None dropped. <laughs> Left side, Geronimo, we're off. I have turned the brightness up on the stream for you guys. It's a lot darker for us in-game, I can tell you that. It's gotten slightly better. When we were waiting to enter at the bottom, it was it was super-duper dark. So this is real panned now. So there's the possibility of certain bosses not being up. I love Superior Fortify in that you can cast the layers on yourself without switching target. Whereas most of the others you've got to switch target. It's an extra fumble sort of step. Why? Sneaking. Ridiculous trying to sneak and pan on an enforcer. Yeah, shoulders would be nice. The awakened shoulders. Spiky shoulders are cool, okay? Well, we'll see. I've got, like, no points left to bid now, so... And they are quite prized, so chances of getting them today are pretty slim, considering I just blew a load of points on them. Still killing all the ads. No idea where my cursor is. Yeah, there it is. I like it near the middle, just in case. Virgo's Practical Spirit Helper. It, it used to be a thing. It used to... Um, if it had no unique tag on it, it would be very desirable. Because you could put six of them on or whatever, you know? But... Because it's got unique on it, it's like, oh. Is Alexander in the raid? Did I miss him coming on? Right side, run the walls. We will. And we will lag as well. Yes, there we go. We had some lags. That might even be a little too bright. I don't know. It was just... Yeah, it's gone really dark along the floorway. Ugh. Fell off the wall like a noob. Now sometimes you come in to real pand and somebody else has been in and there's nothing here. We've even come in once, got all the way to the beast, um, and then <laughs> there's like, <laughs> there's no beast. There's like, sorry everyone, no beast today. There's nothing you can do either, it's, it's just one of them. I 
what are you going to do? Wait 18 hours for a respawn or whatever it is. 8 hours, 9 hours. I have no idea anymore. 99% of the time you're doing um, iPad anyway. Just stuff. Gemini done. Oh, piece of glass. The activation device. Unknown mixture. Oh, it's all there. I want it. Do my nano. Get my nano deck done properly, and then I've got a spare HUD slot for something nice. I think we've got rage running. Yeah. Trouble is, my NCU is bouncing around like nobody's business with all the auras yeah but yeah spiky shoulder pads have always been a thing nothing says fear me I am awesome uh, more than spiky shoulder pads basically what actually dropped was it the double blind of linked information oh yeah handy little item 20 comp lit and sense and agility for additional 20. Really useful for Atrox, etc. Mihalik, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. I see you have your bodyguard, Savik, in the... No, Savik is just doing a bit of Hodor this evening, that's all. I don't think I'm in Savik's team. I'm not. Savik is probably in Team 1 or Team 2. Yeah, Savik's in Team 1. I'm, I'm down here with the, you know, in Team 4. Trying to trying to look like I fit in, you know. I'm not going to risk the raid on uh, a sub 220 <laughs> enforcer. Got most of the beaters done today, and I just got myself a bock as well. You're in Team 1, I'm in Team 4. That's all you need to know about where this tune is at, really. Um, first mid, Geronimo. See if I can get over the last hump again. Almost never do. Ugh, just every bloody time. I always fluff it on that archway over the uh, the little ramp going up <laughs> guarding my butt sir yep Savik is keeping everybody alive and well As is, uh, as is what you'd expect from a accomplished T20 dog. Just shooting out now. Oh, little lads. Okay. Cosmic Guide of the Pisces. Another sort of old school item that's still kind of useful. The head armor item. A lot of stuff on it. Not terrible. <laughs> I've got a D in my chat bar. Not sure how I manage that, but there we are. Cosmic Guide to the Pisces. 
Yeah, there's the caring gloves of some something or other. Got 25 psychic and intelligence on them. Really quite useful. Yeah, so I got myself a bock and I've done all the beaters except for ear and thigh, which I don't have yet. Octopus contraption of the Pisces. First aid and treatment. You just need martial arts from 1500. Um, and martial artists have got green treatment and probably don't need it, so yeah, there's that. Colonel, where the hell are you? Out of range for nano program wherever they are. I think he probably already got it, but insight into the Shadowlands. Have all the maps of Shadowlands all in one go. Is good buff. It is also four hours and has been since it existed, I think. I seem to remember it always was. We've got the Capricorn now. Now it's like, it's not so bad. Should have come here when it was seconds per frame in the old days. All those guys in single core processors and 256 meg of system memory. <laughs> those were the fun times. Care Gloves of the caring Capricorn. Which ones are these? Uh, treatment and first aid for 25. Nice. Useful. Maybe not something you'd wear constantly as regular armour or what have you, but still really quite useful. You can see how well that works. No idea. Savik is in Team 1, therefore Savik is the boss. Absolutely. You know it. Savik is the boss. Mobs. When you when you get too close to 36, the mobs in hand nowadays just seriously get their asses handed to them. Even in real hand, aren't they a little higher with sort of tougher ACs and HP or something like that? The real hand is harder. I know there's more respawns anyway. from the crack don't be tempted to jump over it because that's the moment when it all goes wrong why is they not hitting anything ah there we go that's better
There's one not long going. I need to get the next challenger, but I don't know where to get it from. There's one that requires nano deck, I think. I don't seem to have it. So I don't think it's part of the DB quest ones. It's like begins I can't remember the word like something beginning with V challenger to be a moth or something. can see my tune. I am a big. I am a big. I am a big. I am a big. For a little bit longer and then it'll run out. <laughs> So big, yes. On running, uh, there's a running gag about how much bigger all of Savick's tunes are than mine. They always seem to be much taller. So it's become a, it's become its own meme. And tellies, we do it the end. guard on here doesn't work when I blow on it. Down the side it seems to get it. We hit the AOE heal as if we're not going to get enough aggro anyway. I did, I did tank the Nightheart last night, before I got beaters in. Um, his raid for all the way. Go and tank it. I was like, well, put me a team with a bloody dot then. <laughs> they did, and I tanked it. There were two of them in um, Inferno. came from somewhere. Was that someone running up? Someone managed to solo the uh, the Zodiac. Guessing they did. Wasn't looking at the minimap, so I didn't actually see if anybody was running up here. It's the same challenger I had before, but there's one above this. This is Mighty Challenger, and there's like vivacious or vigorous or something. But I don't know where the hell you get it from. It's not in Panned Garden, I know that. The Oh, Lizard. 
Valiant. That's the one. No, where does it actually come from? Is it a diner loot or something? Or Check Pan's Garden, it wasn't there. Most of the higher stuff is. I couldn't find it on a list anywhere, so I'm not sure where you get it. If it was part of the DB quest, then I've gone and lost it somewhere. Probably DB. Oh, it's one of the APF box nanos. There you go. I need to get those as well. That'll be why. It's got um, a nano deck requirement on it. And I was thinking, I don't have it. Why don't I have it? Have I gone and lost a nano from when we did the quest? Because we did the quest split between a Friday and a Monday. <laughs> that makes sense. Did most of it up to the informant uh, until Mon and then did informant and onwards on Monday. There's got to be someone running in behind us pulling all these. So, time to go. <laughs> That's a lot of people in the beast room. I think we got the nuked. Now, on the last kill, we took him down so damn fast he didn't even spawn any ads. Kind of bonkers. And that was on the, the run just before this one. Getting them all on this time, though. Yep, yeah, I think that was all of it. Zoop Ao, hello, good sir. Devourer of FPS and smiter of old clients, disabler of the beast and wondrous voice of sirs. <laughs> I'm Streamer Girl. I used to be a big deal. You still are. Let's see if shoulder pads drop and I can get them for God knows how many points I've actually got. Tell who do raid. How many points don't I have anymore? You have 317 points. I will bid them on shoulder pads. <laughs> I don't think I'd get them for that, to be honest. After this, it, there's like a an hour gap. Now watch it. Watch this burden go for like way less. <laughs> 
Straight to 1,000, wow. Up to 1,000 to, yeah. I didn't do too bad then. Meatballs and mashed potatoes. This this amazing dish is served with a ligon berries and pea stew. Wow, I think I did okay getting that for under just over. I think I only got I got it for one k, so kind of cheap compared to this run. Helmet of Hypocrisy. Quite useful. A lot of nano skills. The upgraded version's got a lot of nano skill on it. Hero Savic Milady of Waypoints. <laughs> and maps and stuffs. And many, many articles of usefulness. <laughs> I don't know if there are any shoulders on it, so... Alexander left the group. Quiras. It's the chess piece. I only found out recently on AOU, if you click the waypoint and control V and get... Yeah. Oh, I used to manually type the chords in the button boxes on the play. You know, don't worry about it. Oh, for years. Oops. Yeah, some people have watched my... Um, <laughs> some people have watched my video on Hotbar Setup and gone, Oh my God. You know. And I made that video, I don't know, like five years ago, and people even today still leave comments on it going, oh my God, I've been doing this wrong for, you know. It's not common knowledge though, I guess, or it's not common knowledge enough. And Sabic has logged out of game, I think. I wanted the queer ass I forgot to bid. Well, I don't know who won that one, actually. I don't know if there's um, any shoulders on there or not. Streaming and videoing is good for that because people can ask, why you do this, for example. Yeah, they do They do on videos as well. That's why the video got made on a previous video. Someone said, how are you activating all your hotbars on your shade? Because I can't see you moving the mouse and you're not using shift. And Because you can tell which bar is set active by the little light in the corner there. Um, so, yeah. And I, I thought, well, if, if they don't know, maybe I need to make a video about it, so. <laughs> you may say one hand blunt dock, but I would say info with UBT and improved complete heal. Yep. I don't know if there's any other armor pieces or what have you. Yeah, Soju uh, still does stuff. I don't know what, though. I assume they're still playing. I don't know. Was that all the armor pieces? So no shoulder pads. Nikkei, subscribe with Prime. Thank you for the sub. Yeah, I'm not seeing them in Discord for a while. 
Weren't they doing some kind of, um, I don't know, OnlyFans or something? Or was that someone joking about them doing OnlyFans? Yeah, there's no more armour pieces, so... Well, hey... It doesn't bother me. Um, it, it used to, but it doesn't anymore. Yeah, other side of the door, silly boy. Yeah, well, I don't know if it was just people having a laugh. You know, people t like when people say, oh, you know, you know, Kalos do a calendar and all this rubbish. Um, let me reset the brightness. There we go, back to normal. Right, let's see how much uh, alpha and beta boxes are. So I has more uh, nanos to play with. Not sure what to bring to Sector 42, though, being honest. Rubbish. How dare you say my call of calendar idea such thing. Me in a calendar is a bad idea. Just saying. And, and it was... I thought it was um, Mihalik who came up with it. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, she openly advertised she was doing OnlyFans. I'm unsure how, if she is. Oh, I don't know. Well, good luck to her anyway. I mean, I'm not personally interested, but... No business of mine either way. But, you know, if you, if you can make some money doing that, why not? The, uh, the... The dad bod uh, calendars. Alpha box. Let's have a look. Which of these going for? Oof. What does I get from there? Let's have a look. Enforcer. Hellish rage. That's one. Okay, we, we should get that. And... Bader. Bader box. Cheaper. What does Enforcer get from that? Enforcer. Valiant Challenger. Yeah, I kind of want both. I've got enough creds on this tune, so. Grand Bod, please. <laughs> you, you think you want it, but you really don't. Uh, I should be able to buy it on the... Yeah, I can buy that on the, on the Keeper. I think they've still got some pennies on GMI, so... Dilfen. Yeah, all that was... Please, plicks, no. <laughs> it's too weird for anybody. <coughs> mm. Right, okay, so I think Brickhall's got some pennies. Oh, oh yeah, they've definitely got pennies. Um Deuteronomy. Oh, there's no need, I could just beacon, couldn't I? Oh well. Great, I'm here now. Not sure what to take into Sector 42. Depends what they need. I'm, I'm a guessing. Yeah, that's it's crazy that I've got, like, AI 30 already on that too. That's bonkers. But all thanks... To the good folks of Ark. 
especially um, Space Quest there doing all those raids because he knew it was going to be like the, the next one was like going to be after the Halloween event he kind of went right <laughs> double XP on everything which was nuts but it did work well keeping where he was setting up a complete secret and then using it because it's not an easy area to go check unless you're you're expecting it to be the yeah Halloween is usually two weeks because it's sort of run on American sensibilities and Halloween's a big thing over there yeah I got some spare we're okay right so Ilfe. Alien box screw it. Find it. Zoink and three weeks even, yeah. I'll have started a new tune by then. Beta <laughs> Right, there we go. Go wait for emails. Uh, meanwhile, let's log a mule. So yeah, he made sure it was a good blowout last night, to be fair. The new tune will be 200 plus, possibly. Probably not, though. Oh, I missed someone coming on. Nusal Nusalita? Oh my god, AO is a game I haven't played in like 15 years or so. Yep, still going. <laughs> and welcome to the stream, anyway. Join Fresh Tunes November Nus. Yeah, I don't know. They didn't do a birthday celebration, um, you know, subscription thing. I, I think all they really needed to do for that was just, like, have seven days or two weeks of, um, you know, come back for free. That would have been really, really cool. So many memories. Yeah, they never really leave you. But what I found is wh whichever other game I, I try and play, I always end up, like, you know, like, three, sometimes six months in and I go, I'm bored. I'm just, I'm just so bored of this game. And then I go back to Anakin and go, oh, this is so much more fun. So, you know, that's why I'm still here. Just me, maybe. Come on, mail system. Where did I leave my muel? Still sat there over. With all the things. Just way too many nice items. <laughs> come on mail system no I've hit it just wrong sometimes you get like almost instantaneous delivery um, and I think that's you know AO best AO and Counter Strike I never really played Counter Strike do you know what I used to play was Unreal Tournament the original one Anarchy Atmosphere I could just uh, could have the game open, just hanging out in game with the speakers on for days. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely. I mean, it won awards for sound design when it released. You know, despite everything else. Um, and I think rightly so. You know, do you think one of these chests might be, you know, better on the enforcer than the other one? I'm not sure. You know, or is everyone? go for two hand blunt kind of thing or go for a dust brigade operative chest piece because i think they could get it on 
I might have to twink on for the psychic though. One thousand in psychic. Hanging out in the major cities, gossiping with people. Yeah, it is absolutely a big part of the game. It's one of the old style games. Like nowadays, matchmaking is a thing in games to the point where you don't have to know anyone or socialise with anyone. You can just, you know, sign up and next thing you're in a, in a raid or what have you. Um, whereas Anarchy Online is the old school. You know, you meet people, you get chatting, you find out there's you know, a raid group, or you make friends and you like raiding together. You know, that whole social aspect of the game is so much stronger. I stopped playing because all my friends started to play WoW, and I kind of followed the... Yeah. I don't... I never, I never kind of jived with WoW. It always just sort of... I didn't like the art style. I think that's the fundamental thing. If if something doesn't quite look right for me, um, I can't. I just can't get on with it. Uh, like um, it's like I love the Fender Stratocaster, but I really do not like um, the Fender Jaguar. So when I see a Jaguar, it's like a, a it just looks like a Strat gone wrong. Do you know what I mean? It's not. It's its own thing, and it's definitely got its fans. Um, but I'm not one of them, let's say. Exiting the grid. Um, favourite AO sound? Oof, I don't know. I don't know if I've got a favourite one. I think a lot of it is just the ambience. I think the desert music and vibes, just, they always... Yeah, there's, there's something about them that just makes me go, oh yeah. You know, what do we think, chat? Should I put on the Dust Brigade operative chest piece or stay with um, the one I've got, which is the Enforcer Penultimate for two hand blunt? I'm not sure, you know. I love the operative chest piece. I do. I mean, not as a visual thing, just purely, you know, what's going to be best for the tune a lot of hp yeah i'm thinking this i'm thinking I, I i should put it on i've got a few spare so right let's have a look can i yay hellish rage yay run even faster die even quicker and b there we go valiant challenger how much bigger does it actually make you 160 percent Oh yeah, come and stand next to me now, Sabic. Mihalik is saying, operative all the way. Uh, unlock. It's going to be sight, yeah. Let's have a look, how far off? Ooh, yeah, I'd have to... I'd be out of OE though. Yeah, OE is 80%, so I'm out of OE with it. Um, but I'd have to re-perk for it, I think. 890 you're gonna need another hundred so yeah I'd have to I'd have to reperk to do it is it worth it doing it now with the challenge you may cap the MBS of your weapon already yeah I think you're probably right it doesn't change the weapon um, skill but yeah um, can't use that till 2.20. Do I want to re-perk again? Maybe I do. I am a big. Yes, I am. I'm a big. Look at me being big. 2.935. Yeah, which is over at MBS, isn't it? Unless going full awakened, which is also another option, and I have I have them spare. I can self that back on anyway, that chest piece. I've just had a perk reset, but I want another one. Twenty million, please. Well, it's better than days waiting. 
God, do you remember the old way? Except you could get around it by, you know, resetting the date in the BIOS. Just, just say. <laughs> That's what everyone was doing. Right, okay, so... Let's see... Uh, DNA! Might need some rings as well, I'm not sure. Let's have a look, where are we at? One, two, three, nine, five... Okay... Genuous... Maybe some rings. Be nice to do it just here. Oh, mind you, you've got, yeah. Secondary genome might just get me to 1,000. No, oh, I'm not a big anymore. It's no fair. 990, not quite. Yeah, one ring. Should do. 10, 11. Ah, oh, there we go. Poof, there you go, it's on. And lock item. There you go. Mihalik will be happier. Uh. I've just had a full perk reset, but I want another one. Because I want to play the character. There you go, there's a quick 40 million vanished. <laughs> Should not be OE, but it will go OE otherwise, I think. Right, let's do perks proper again. Okay, we want... Is it Bone Crusher? Two and Blunt, yeah. Oh, I didn't even think. I could have just thrown on the bloody burden of competence, couldn't I? Mm. I am a... I am a thick. I am not a brain. I am not a smirt. You are a smirt. Make it go. I wish you could just click on the last... In the, yeah, that would be neater, wouldn't it? Um, brawler. And form of troll. This is where Mahalik goes, no, 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 no. <laughs> Don't use that line, use this one. And they go, oh, God, and blow another load of uh, credits. Being AI 30 is quite nice, though. Only use Burden if it's awakened, if not... Yeah, the Bulwark or whatever. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm wearing it in social, which is kind of a... But it's, it's useful for twinking as well, so... But the CH for an Enforcer could be quite useful. Uh, Nano Combat and Heavy Infantry... You know, I've sat here before now, put 10 perks into the wrong line. And had to go back to the guy because I've gone, Oh, no, I didn't read it properly. All right, there we go. So I still look the same because I've got that in social as well. Someone was selling a, uh, a bulwark today. They wanted a grace for it. I was actually tempted. <laughs> I was actually like, ooh, you know. But no, I, I, I thought better of it. Where is the Savik? Is the Savik hiding in Newland? Let's go have a look. I think Savik's not in game actually, but I just want to stand next to Savik and go, I am a big. Where am I going? Newland. And finally, I am have a tune that is bigger than the Savik. I 
Let me see, what else have I got that I could maybe use? I've got... In space or protection, medical. I'm sure I got the enlarge, but it's got the same icon as all the um, Mongo Colossus things. So I don't know where it went to. So that's one. And then... Ah! Uh, no. I have to cast it after. Right. Just farm it. Don't be such a wuss. Humanities doesn't bite. No, he kills a lot, though. He cheats and does all his um, special attack things all at once on you. Cancel Mongo and use IBHB. Yeah? Okay. Oh, as well. Yeah, I get you. <laughs> Nearly as tall as a Wumper. I am a big... Now, if I take off the thing, I think the helmet goes a bit wonky. Yeah, it does. That's better. Makes no sense the self-essent doesn't buff size. Yeah, I know. Dun-dun-dun! Strong two! <laughs> <laughs> you look tiny now. Savik is a schmall. Wait, I have to buff Savik. Oh, I've, I'm on cooldown. Oh, because I've got... Th oh. There you go. With I... I, I <laughs> Wait there. Improved Essence of Behemoth as well. And then I have to wait for Challenger and then cast the other one. Oh, you feel the core of your being shift as the source makes room for a divine presence. Colette has reached enlightenment. Congrats. Savik is so. Savik is a, a schmoll. Savik is a smull. It's a weird thing because in real life I'm quite tall, so it just feels weird when people are taller than me in the game. I know that's pathetic but I don't think it's stacks because that didn't feel like I got any bigger then and let me go to equipment window helmet visible take that off okay <laughs> being there we go Sisters. I'm the big sister. I'm... 1,074 foot tall in real life. I can believe it. I'm a little short of two metres, I think. Or I used to be. I'm probably shorter than that now. Yeah, once you've got the veteran growing flesh, it doesn't get you can't use challenger on top of it. You can use it after, but I don't think it actually makes you bigger with challenger as well. So there you go. I am a big. I am a big. Dun dun dun. I want that bulwark though. <laughs> Just under five foot nine, right? You can keep your head warm under my beard. <laughs> uh, I need to blow my nose. I feel like I'm getting a cold, you know. Oh, dear me. Yes, there we are. I are a big. 
Ungfreak, welcome to the stream. Well, we just did uh, Hodor, um, I panned, and then real panned. And now we're just gooning about before Sector 42, as you do, kind of thing. So normally I just... I could leave it like that and just have big blonde hair, really, couldn't I? Everyone's going to think I'm Savick, you see. Because really, really tall with this face. It's like, that's got to be one of Savick's tunes. But they're in the wrong guild. And the clan. What's going on? I is confused. <laughs> oh. Zafik is big is a big again. But I'm gonna buff my Kraken. Because I'm not as big with Kraken. Um but my HP is. Oh yeah, I don't think I got to either use um team heal thing, Sav. I'm just f refilling my HP. Trying to sort of get dead in line. Right, is that the team HP buff as well, isn't it? 51k HP, that's pretty good. That'll do. That'll do it. <laughs> Enforce a meeting, yeah. I am the biggest. Or I was, now I'm not. <laughs> no. Instalina is now the biggerest. You're, you're more you're more high level than what I am. What have you got on? He has the alphas. Nothing untoward. Nothing that says makes you even bigger. Serpentine sneaking suit. That's an interesting choice. Carl is the only non-enforcer. He doesn't use one hand blunt. <laughs> That's a really tall tune. What have you got in your buff? Valiant Challenger, yeah. What else, though? Oh, you went improved Essence of Behemoth. I think that's the difference, isn't it? Improved does stack. Yeah, it is. Say, so, oh, smidge taller. It's hard to say. It could be the camera angle. No, uh, I'm a small again. <laughs> Ung freak, don't view. Is that you down there now? <laughs> Yeah, nobody. I'm the only enforcer here because, like, get get off. <laughs> we in a proper line? Only. Oh no, I am with Sav. There we go. Yeah, about the same height, I'd say. Not a lot in it either way. The only way I think you could be taller is if you build, if you pick slim. Because when you go to character creation, if you watch, when you pick Slim, your character just elongates slightly. Yeah, taller. But that's not Slim build, is it? That's medium. Hard to know. Yeah, it's not. No, you can tell. The legs always look ungainly somehow. <laughs> I uh, should put that back on. I need to find a better hood, really. Than that one. It's very dark compared to everything else. Makes her look like a brunette. I need more hoods. I'm going to go visit a mirror shop. No, oh, I'm little again. Your character is slim. Ah, that might be why, then. Why... Info size from Mongo. No idea. 
I'll be just big with big HP. Can't find a. I want a hood for her so you can see her face, but I can't find a hood that I like. Do we not get that helmet anymore on daily logins? Is it gone? Was it only available over the celebrations? Yeah, it's gone, hasn't it? Damn. That's a shame. Silly enfos buff each other to be bigger with I mean, but their own buff doesn't buff size. It's weird, isn't it? Uh, let's go look in Mia. I could pick up some stuff from the veteran store as well. They've got a lot of stuff. Yeah. This, this, you know, fashion online. This, this is the end game, picking out outfits. Headwear. Let's have a look. What would I... Handwear, I'm an idiot. Armwear, legwear, footwear, chestwear, backwear, headwear. A queen, that looks like the one I was thinking of. Looks like a gaily painted hood. Yeah, it's not as dark. It's got a bit more texture and colour to it. That'll do. You have Dune Walker in claim items if you have 180 days. All right. Let's have a look. I've got a little more than that. Hydro vehicle, <laughs> yeah. Claim items, yeah, I've got 900 plus days. What was it called? Dune what? Oh, the Dune Walker. Doesn't that cover your face, though? It's got a mask on it. It's no good. I've used that before. It's got a mask on it. Tinfoil hat, maybe. <laughs> you play better with good fashion. Facts. Yep, absolutely. They're, they're, those are facts. Yes, they are. Um, yeah, she's only logged out a game. Very high on the fashion game there. That's what I meant. Yeah, she's, she's logged out a game. Oh, wait. I just remembered. Oh, you need to be an ICC. <laughs> the whole point of having it would be better if it didn't make you go through ICC. Thing was, they, you used to have to wait for the shuttle to land to get to the alien playfield, so it, it made sense that it did it then. Poof. <laughs> now it doesn't really make as big of a difference. Doop. Carl, better don't talk fashion rocking a, a pen shoulder with a bock. I like my fashion. So there. Uh, I need to make the room. Yeah, I don't know. Throw that in there. Um, yeah, let's put that in there because that is still a very useful bit of gear. That I can't use for a while. That can go and live there. Now do the wave. Tell who door raid join. I'll stay on the Enforcer unless they want me to switch to something. Like the Keeper or what have you. 
his lack of fashion is sort of a fashion. This is true. Waifu executes composite Moochums eight hours in your NCU. <laughs> yeah, I've now got Atrox Enforcer, Atrox Keeper, Solitus um, Enforcer and Solitus Keeper. The Solitus Keeper is a lot better though. Uh, it could just be my play style. It doesn't necessarily mean, you know, any other choice is wrong or anything like that. So, yeah. <clears throat> I like that. Having 50k HP feels more Enforcer-esque to me. Oh, are we getting into this again? <laughs> He's going to be bigger, he's after us. I think. <laughs> he's definitely way bigger though. <laughs> yeah, definitely a big. I'm not sure the veteran thing actually does stack, but we'll give it a go. Ooh, ooh, no, <laughs> he's still bigger. <laughs> he's still big. No, Atrox is fine. Atrox is fun. Um, but yeah. Oh yeah, the the beam. Yeah, it's it's nuts fast. It really is. Uh, I do want one on this tune as well. He is the bigger, uh, unless he's doing that, and then not so much. Yeah, he's definitely bigger. Right. Time to go back to... <laughs> no, it didn't let you. you got to cancel and recast. Fine. Oh, I've got bloody thingy running, that's why. Yeah, never mind. He'll have more HP than me as well. Missing the dock enlarge. Oh, yeah, yeah. Unless Savic gave it me while I was there. I'm not sure. Only 36. I miss my dock. I quite like dock. I thought I was going to hate it. Uh, but I ended up really liking it in the end. Paid Dock is quite a bit different to um, the Frub experience, let's say. You think he buffed me? I'm not sure. I think the... Um, I don't think it stacks with veteran f growing flesh. It might have overwrote it when I cast that as well, I don't know. It doesn't matter. We, we, we've had the fun with that already, so... Click to join the raid, yay. You has joined the raid, there we go. I could do with another cup of tea, I think, before we uh, embark. I think we've got 15 minutes. So I'm gonna go do that. I will be back.
<sighs> I am back. <clears throat> Okay, buff your buff your Zyorg 004 redeemed hydrate for 100. Thank you. I are. Oh, Tar is up. Tar. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Got 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> the raid. <laughs> Try not to die. That's a that's a quick and dirty daily. Watch me get complete and utterly trounced at Tara. <laughs> or trying to run down there at least. Stream sniping for the win. Yeah, well and truly uh, st uh, stream sniped last night. God almighty. Logging agent for reasons. Yeah. I don't think I've got the daily active. No, I've got to pull the daily as well. More time for snipers to show up. Might be all right. Might get lucky. Good night. Good night and good luck with Sector Forty Two. Thanks, Sabic. Good night. It's time for Sabic to sidle off. Michael Bublé has called round, run the Bublé bath, and is currently serving dark chocolate and red wine. <laughs> Sabic will be. And then he stands in the corridor singing cool jazz while Savik has a nice soak in the tub. Not really I'm making all of this up, just it's silly. <clears throat> I've still got the ambient club music running while I'm in the grid. Let's see if we can even make it. Get running, boo! <laughs> Gaspod's minion. There'll be someone in in the Taru room waiting for me to run in. <laughs> Probably. I'll run in, there'll be like 30, uh, 30 guys in there waiting. Mission complete. Beacon time. Weird when Tara goes green. <clears throat> I think we got away with it. Yeah, I've still got all the, the buffs from the last one, so. Team two and four. That would be me. LFT. Sugar babes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> LFT sugar babes. Go hand this in. <laughs> Bloody sugar babes. Oh my god. Are any of the original Sugar Babes still in the Sugar Babes, or is it now completely... Um, I booted you, you're a Sugar Babe. <laughs> I 
I'm in the sugar babes. Completed my assignment. Thank you, XP. ICC. The frame rates go to die. Thank you to the one Saint Brand who didn't butcher my name today. <laughs> Yay! We are the back. He probably ring. Oh, Buble, yeah. No, he stands in the corridor and, and just goes, It's time for Savick's bath. <laughs> Or <laughs> something, I don't know. I can't do Michael B. Blake. He's a great, great singer, though. He really is a good singer. And, and people just sort of like... They heap loads of crap on him and it's like really unfair. <laughs> he doesn't deserve any of it. Me included with the Buble bath thing. Not sure which one we're in then. We're in Sugar Babes, so I don't know which side we're actually doing. Did I join? I think I joined. You're already in the raid. Goody good. Weird, isn't it? I make I'd make an enforcer, and suddenly enforcers are everywhere. It's like it's the I can't remember what the effect is. It's it's the same one you get. Like you buy a a new car, and you're like, yeah, I've got this car, and then suddenly you notice that car everywhere, that model, a make, you know, and you're like, oh, everyone's got this car. <laughs> placebo. It's yeah, it's not quite placebo. It, it, there's another thing. Uh, it is. It's got a name, but I can't think what it is. There's a few different ones that, that cause the effect. There's, um, like, the Mandela effect is one. You know, it's like mass... Um, it's like a, a form of mass psychosis sort of thing. That particular one. The buying a, buying a car and then noticing that type of car a lot more is, a, it is an effect, but it's not placebo. Yeah, when poli before Placebo the band made it, their drummer lived in the same house as me in London, called Robert. Um, uh, he was a nice guy as well, good drummer. And um, he and another one from the Musicians Institute joined up with the, the lead singer, Brian, or something. Um, and he used to phone up for him and, and he'd go, Hi, can I speak to Robert, please? <laughs> <laughs> but um, Rob left the band uh, after they recorded the first album and a couple of videos or something. He went, I don't like it. They they want to they want us to all act, you know, ambiguous, act like our sexuality is ambiguous. Whereas Rob was <laughs> quite definitely not. <laughs> Mandela effect is real. Can't tell me the Monopoly guy never wore a monocle. He did wear a monocle. There's pictures of it. 
I've got an old Monopoly board in the loft that's got him with a monocle. Is it, there's another... Uh, th that's like a double Mandela effect. That th what everyone says to be true is true, but they say that it's not, and actually it is. But everyone now believes it isn't true, and it's the Mandela effect. The, the beta meinhof phenomenon. Phenomenon, phenomenon, phenomenon. There's someone pointed out there's an easy way to not overpronounce phenomena or phenomenon. If you check now, he doesn't. Yeah, but on a 1970s original Monopoly that I had as a kid and still have in the, in the up in the attic, he does, because I have checked. Even showed someone a photo once and they went, no, that's Photoshop. I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> if you go and check that board you have in your loft and he doesn't have it oh right yeah by going phenomenon 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 <laughs> and then the middle eight is how most people try and pronounce... I couldn't say the word... Um, uh, uh, Two-factor... Uh, I'm doing it now. I am doing it now. Two-factor author, author, uh, authentication. There you go. Two-factor authentication. I could not say authentication. I kept trying to say... Um, authorization for some reason. God knows. <laughs> uh, someone else you know when um, Fallout 4 released their first sort of mini DLC it was called Automatron uh, and quite a famous YouTuber who does a lot of mods and, and Bethesda type games couldn't say uh, Automatron <laughs> he kept going -d -d -b -nom -nom -nom. I hate that word uh, so it was pretty cool like we all have these brain fart things I, I couldn't say it and I nearly couldn't say it then because I was remembering not being able to say it you know the whole blowing on game cartridges to make them work didn't never worked it's like yes it did do you want to know why it worked because they tarnish and lose their electrical connectivity and blowing on it, the moisture from your breath would supply the connection. Do you want to know what really works? Spraying that on the brass contacts and giving them a good wipe with a clean cloth. <laughs> if you want a new Fallout? I hope Starfield will scratch the same itch. I want a new New Vegas, yeah. That's it. I think people did that with uh, The Outer Worlds. They went, ah, just you watch Bethesda, because Bethesda was still kind of on the public's hate... the back end of the hate train for Fallout 76, which deserved all the hate it got. It was abysmally bad. Um, and the way they marketed it as well was like, oh, it's a new Fallout game, and it's like, it's not a Fallout game at all. It's a... It's a on-demand piece of shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's live service. And they made one because everyone else had a live service game and they, they were trying to sell Bethesda to a bigger company like Microsoft. Yeah, I wouldn't mind another New Vegas. This is it. Bethesda, really good at world building. They make very interesting worlds to go around in. Um, Obsidian invented Fallout. They created it. You know, Bethesda bought the IP, but the guys who made... I think that was another factor as well. It was because the guys making um, Outer Worlds 
there's a lot of the humour in of the original Fallout in the Outer Worlds, but they couldn't use what they knew and had created to begin with because um, they didn't have the rights to it anymore. And Obsidian's owned by Microsoft as well. So, yeah, who knows? So, like, the story and the characters and the dialogue in New Vegas is absolutely superb. And with a few mods, it's an amazing game. But the world space? Really boring. Um, Fallout 4, not a very good story. The dialogue was a bit... as well. But the world space was brilliant, you know. Bethesda make brilliant world spaces. They're really good at that. But story, they should leave to Obsidian, you know. Ten minutes till start, somebody needed to go to pharmacy in real life. Okie doke. Shelby Enfo, welcome to the stream. Hello all, late to the party. Yeah, not late. We haven't gone in yet. ICC planet-wide announcement. Caden Enf has been awarded the highest honorary rank for outstanding dedication to the defense of Rubicar. Well done. Yeah, we've just been having general discussion while we're waiting for Hodor to start. So, we've been doing <clears throat> upgrades on the character. I put the beta implants in, so they're a little better now. Minus the ear and thigh, because they're no-drops and I don't have them yet. And then, because I had it on another tune, I grabbed... Uh, operative chess piece because I've got like five of them or something most of them are on tunes but I had a spare one on the <clears throat> on the keeper so I just traded it over and went and twinked it on oh I also upgraded the shoulder pad so it was the master program on it now a little better again so we're, we're creeping along we're creeping along we've got all the DB nanos running now Chinese, most groovy. They are most groovy, yeah. We're still a little low, though, for this sort of raid, but we should be okay. It has big layers. And the tune is now bigger than Savic. Well, for 40 seconds with Challenger running. We're waiting for tornadoes to fire in Oklahoma here. It's going to be eventful. Ooh, get down in that shelter. Listen to the radio. Follow the reports. One of my favourite all-time films is Twister. But it, the reality of it, <laughs> it's there for real. That's damn frightening. Yeah, it's an awesome movie, but... Yeah, the reality of living with it is not fun or exciting. It's terrifying. F4, F5. Oof. That's like finger of God, isn't it? F5 is like serious, serious damage. Pretty much level anything. John the Savage, talking about this, when I decided to reactivate main account, I will have an NT... Project waiting for me, 220 nanomage. I remember I had nightmares of getting Sims in. Uh, you can change race. You can get a breed change if you really want to. I, I did op effects. It made everything dead easy. Two easiest stats to buff in the entire game are strength and stamina because there's so many items that and buffs that stack that allow you to do it. Um, intelligence and psychic... If you're an NT, you have massive buffs for, like, 80-odd, um, and plenty of items. And the two hardest stats to buff in the game are Sense and Agility. 
so your op effects so they're already green therefore they're always way high enough to get everything in but yeah that was the second easiest alphas I ever put on a tune was up effects NT the easiest was solitus um, doctor which I put alphas in on at 219 that's how easy it was on that dock Yes, sir. Nothing but dirt left if that hits. Yeah, get yourselves in that shelter. All all that stuff you hoarded over lockdown, get it in there. <laughs> yeah, during hurricane seasons, the only uh, acceptable time to go buy three packs of toilet rolls and four boxes of pasta. <laughs> it's like, yeah, there's a reason. <laughs> God, all that. Yeah, scary stuff. Yeah, you can get a breed change. You can get it from the shop as well. You do see them on GMI, or you can buy them with Funcom points as well. But they are expensive. Um, like convenience, breed and gender, gender change. How many points are we talking? Um, yeah, so 2,100 Funcom points. It's like $20. At least, I think. John the Savage. Breed change was what I was thinking of. My bad choice of words. English is hard. English is absurdly awkward to learn. Um, <clears throat> because it's made up of several other languages that evolved over the years in Britain and then it's changed again in America and it's spoken differently in Britain so it's like <laughs> half the words are Scandinavian the other half are Germanic many are French a lot of others are like from wherever and oh god it's nuts $20 for a faster NT is what it's spent NT's are very very powerful now Speak with the manager, man. Okay, we're going down. We're going down. Let's talk to the man. I would like authorization to enter Sector 42. Yes, I have it. I made it last night. Here we go. I accept the mission. Please give me access to Sector 42 and click goodbye. If you don't, it foo bars and you can't get down and you're locked out for four hours as well. Yeah, you can buy a Grace from Funcom, sell that, you'll have enough to buy a breed change and a ton of other gear. I think they're going for about 24 to 25 billion in-game credits at the moment, so... They've been up as high as 40, though. It's bonkers. But it is what it is. Right, now let's put that away somewhere. Running out of room for places in it. I don't really need that anymore. That can come out of main bag one. Have I got anything left? No space left in there. Oh, loads of space in there. So, yeah, Nileb's cloak. Not really needing that as a carry round item anymore. But Sector 42 stuff? Oh, I think so. Hodor Raid Callers actually Okay Who am I in with? Yeast <laughs> Well who's one of the callers? La latex Ribbon Yeah okay So that's me then He's in my raid group We're in yeast. So we'll be going yeast. 
Yeah, you might have enough creds left to buy them. So it depends which one you go for. Thing is, gather all your items together because when to use it, you literally have to uh, completely strip the character. You click on it, and you walk to a room because you pick a new face and everything. Also, your shadow breed, if you have it, gets reset as well. But that's it. That's the only two downsides. Inflation being what it is, though, it's, um, yeah, Grace is a... Uh, well, the good, the good way of doing it, you see people spamming creds for sale all over the game, and it's not worth it, not even close. They're like more than double the price of legitimately buying a Grace from Funcom, selling it on GMI. So, number one, you've supported the game by paying money to Funcom, then you're supporting other players playing the game because they've now got their Grace to go and keep their account running, um, and you've got a load of creds with no comeback. So, you know, it's definitely the way to do it. Buying off cred sellers is dodgy as hell. You're putting your details into some real dodgy ass site, giving your, you know, bank details to people you've got no idea about who are quite happy to do something illegal. And if you get caught, you could get your account deleted. So, yeah, it's kind of a no brainer, really. <laughs> you know, it's like just not a good plan. Name, Electric, Steintech, Wizard, History, Alt, One, Character ID, Profession, Nano, Male. Yep, you can, you can look up characters in-game with uh, various bots, etc. You feel the core of your being shift as the source makes room for a divine presence. Sarah Late has reached enlightenment. Congrats! Can't believe this tune is AI 30 and doing Sector 42 already. It just feels nuts. Oh my god, where did all my frames go? It's already gone. I'm in a team of one. I'm not feeling very secure. <laughs> Nana Major, good NTs. They're no better than any other class, and they have a lot of weaknesses. Symbionts are much harder on Nanomage than pretty much anything else. Because agility and sense are going to be difficult as well as everything else. Not my favourite. Some people love Nano Mage, some people don't. I don't. Yeah, Oppy do have the highest base stats. Before well, the caps kick in. And doing alphas on um, Up Effects NT seems remarkably easy, to be honest. It's the second easiest I've ever done. Solidoc was the easiest. If you think about it, it's pretty obvious it would be. Mm. 
I mean, I put them on, I put alphas on the dock at 219, not 220. It's the first time I've ever actually done that. <laughs> I'm sure you could probably do it earlier if you've got enough gear. But, um, on other tunes sort of thing. I mean, you can't go more than, lower than 219 for alphas because there's a level lock on them, but... Court is raiding with a party of eggs. Thank you for the raid, Court, and welcome, raiders, to the stream. We're in Sector 42. Now was your stream, Court? Is it good? What have you been up to? Yeah, our trucks have the most limited max base abilities. Slightly dodgy looking. <laughs> Just got killed at Taurus by 8v3. Oh god. I did blitz down there before actually. But that was literally like just run and tag Tara. I was sure I was going to get ganked <laughs> for trying. Go either way. Make sure you have 10 MCU free. I do. Click the thingy. Click in. There's my golden key to get through the fence. But wait for the raid leader. Run into each other, yeah. Right before the MNO told me, I was, oh god, this could go bad. <laughs> Run into each other, yeah. I was sure someone was going to stream snipe me running down while live. That's the other thing as well. If you're streaming um, Tara, you know they're going to like <laughs> take advantage of that. Sitting there for 10 minutes while they waited at the door and bum rushed. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I remember the old days. Don't people camp the box anymore? That used to be a big thing for quite a long time. I guess tactics change over time, though, eh? Someone comes up with something better or what have you. When it first opened, it was a lot of aggro in the box and fighting the whole way down. It was really disorganised. And if you ever exit one of these playfields to go to a different sector of 42, yes, you do need to click the device by the fence again. <laughs> Otherwise, you dead. It happens. It's a better stream when you die. Space Quest was so convinced about that, he kept warping me and teleporting me into a load of Seekers last night. He thought it was hilarious. So did I, if I'm honest. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Clicked and died, yeah. 
Yeah, it's all for another PvP such so man. Oh yeah, if, you, if you're not, um, if, you, if you're fighting against people that PvP a lot, you, yeah, you're kind of screwed. You know, because they're, they're just going to be a lot sharper at things than that you might not be. go to a PvP area like that. I mean, looking at Tara now, pretty much any level 220 could just run down and solo Tara itself. I think I did it on Test Live just to see. It was surprisingly easy, but then the others spawn and it's like, not so easy now. I think Tara's only like 200 or something. I mean, yeah, still a hell of a tough mob for level 200, but... Heavy patroller aggroing me. Straight kill tower. How's tower doing? It's coming down. Little Emp. Emp party in Borealis. Sounds like fun. Kill the first one, get ready for the first boss. We get the support and the marshal in here. God, we killed a few supports last night at the uh, alien event as well. I don't know how many he spawned, <laughs> like three at least in Inferno, and I think two in, um, two in Elysium. So it was kind of nuts, you know, it was just, it was kind of awesome actually. <laughs> With MT these days, the way the top nuke works, Garrick's, um, if you have over 3k matter creation skill, it stops doing any more damage. The only thing that increases the damage is percent nano damage, direct nano, nano damage items. So HUD items, armor, rings, you know, whatever, um, to get more damage out of them, as opposed to previously, I guess. But 3k is really easy to get to. We have support with a huge hitbox of doom. Yeah, I got lucky last night, no one was there. Yeah. Tara's really fallen out of favour, hasn't it? You know, you just you just don't see nearly as many people showing up for it anymore. Here comes the marshal, as he always does. You got layers up just in case. Prefer this one to some of the others. Maybe because we always start with sector 40, 35 in Hodor. <laughs> it's like first one of the evening. Yeah, we'll be fine. Two bosses. Yeah, we'll be fine. Of course, I gotta head out. Thanks for giving here, so dinner time. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone from Canada, or if you don't have it in your region. Well, thank you very much. Have a great dinner, have a good feast, a good chat with uh, friends and family, etc. We don't have it at all in the UK, but I understand it's a big deal in America and Canada. So. Toto Mohoney. Hello from Omni 2. Welcome to the stream. How are you? My little Omni spy. You're not spying today. You're not terrorizing the peaceful citizens of Tyr or Old Athen. I, I use the word peaceful loosely. 
obviously. <laughs> we ain't doing nothing. Looks like Raid for All are going to do a Sector 42 as well in an hour and ten minutes, apparently, so... I'll be locked out on this too, so, hey. Omnitech is your friend. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Soto Mahoney would definitely agree. It's sort of his tagline. Now, if you're interested at all in roleplay, etc., Soto Mahoney would be a very good person to ask about it. I'll direct you to all the, the right channels and current stories ongoing, some of which are quite interesting, actually. Yeah, I'm pretty sure North is a lot less fun to do than this one. Which is the one with all the little red dudes that swarm you? Never like that one. I think that one's North. Can't remember. Is it West? Yeah. Yeah, that one always feels very dodgy. I don't know why. Feels less controlled, maybe. Plus red aliens. Yeah, the Reaper dudes. Don't like them. I mean, you take what you get, you know, but... <laughs> oh yes, Shelby Info, I also won at Hodor in Pan, a burden of competence, as you can see. Looking rather dapper now. Omnitech has gotten stale. I've been trying to find the right packet to join in the Dust Brigade. <laughs> oh, God. God help us. They were quite terrifying in the animated series. You locked some guy in an industrial oven and turned it on. It was like, what the fuck? Jesus. <laughs> These guys are not messing around. Green aliens, all good. Red aliens, unnatural. Absolutely. <clears throat> uh, and we wait on the countdown. Yeah, I just, I took, a, you know, a bit of a punt uh, in iPand. Because <laughs> it had dropped, and I thought, I'll put a bid in. I don't have a lot of points anyway now after going through um, 10, 000, well, 20,000 bloody Hodor points getting two ACDCs on two different tunes. So I was like, oh, you never know. I only got like just over a thousand, and I got it. I was well pleased. I was going to make doing beaters, a, uh, it would have made beaters a hell of a lot easier, but it'll make alphas easier, that's for sure. Shelby Info! Redeemed Hydrate, good plan. I'm getting croaky. Ah, thank you. <coughs> I just reminded myself of something. Last year they were they were handing out advice to everyone, weren't they? And they were saying, Oh, if you need to cough, put your hand over your mouth. And I'm like, who the hell coughs without putting their hand over their mouth in public? I mean, come on. <laughs> It's like, who does that? Like some old tramp or something going down the road. You know, where they've got to the point where they just don't give a damn about anything anymore. You know, and they're just like going down there. Like, <laughs> yeah. Ung Freak, you should be glad you're not on North. No Seekers, but it's you. They're probably coming over the wall for you. Probably. People all the time open cough at the grocery, driving me mad. It's disgusting. It's just bad manners, you know. Simple as that. It is just bad manners.
Kathia, welcome to the stream. Or Kataya, I'm not sure. You tell me. Yeah, exactly. Cough into the elbow. Yeah. Yeah, the other side of your elbow. The point is that your hands haven't made contact and your hands carry a lot of germs. What we subsequently found out, of course, is that um, that that particular strain doesn't survive out, you know, outside of um, the body or on surfaces. It doesn't last very long. I remember the woman uh, famously at the very beginning of it all was making some speech about being careful where you put your hands and, and keep them away from your mouth. And she's reading off these cards and she goes, <laughs> did I get to them now? I was like, no, you silly person. <laughs> it's like she just did it subconsciously, you know. He's like, when I, if I use one of those self-service checkout things, I, I, I do it like that. I'm like, I'm using my knuckle. <laughs> I'm not putting my fingers on that. And then someone showed me, like, uh, some pictures, like, only at Walmart um, selection of pictures. They sent me a link, and it was some of them are just like, there's someone there, they've got one hand on the trolley handle, the other hand is down the back of their pants, and I mean, not their trousers, their pants scratching or something and you're like oh okay and then they're gonna go kadunk yeah yeah that that's that that that's hygienic <laughs> jesus someone else had their hand down the front and i i don't know i, I kind of find that worse gamble one 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 welcome to the stream Yeah, in Wales, people seem to have adopted fist bumping, which is weird. Rather than the elbow, because you're further away if you do that, you know. So people people take the advice, Ugh, itchy ear, and then they, they kind of... Um, <laughs> then they come up with new, you know, their own version of the advice. Gamel, birthday boy today, fresh from the pub. Oh, many happy returns and happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. You look like a monkey and you live in the zoo. There you go. Copyright me now. <laughs> Apparently somebody spent millions on lawsuits to try and copyright the happy birthday song and then monetize every video on the internet ever where that song occurs. Like everyone's little home movie... Of a birthday and what? And, oh my god! You smell like one too. Oh, I, I heard the other version, but fifty-two. When did that happen? In January for me. <laughs> Man, you did. You're doing well. You got out. You left the pub before closing. Is it Nestle trying to do that? I don't know. No, it was um, some lawyers on behalf of. Like they claimed the song had been invented by a school teacher so many hundred years ago in the States or something. I'm like, mm, possibly, but really, you know, I don't know. And then someone else disproved. I'm not sure where it's at anymore. Oh, you've got the same birthday. Oh, well, happy birthday, Morphers, as well. You can have one as well. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Morphers. You look like a monkey in the zoo. I completely buggered that one up, didn't I? But I definitely can't copyright it. <laughs> yeah, so let's all wish the birthday people happy birthday. So that's Morphers and Gamel. Happy birthday. You've got the big loves going on. Right, we're coming up to that time, that wonderful time where they take out the tower in sync. 
And the big scary crap comes. Just make sure I've got no snares or roots on here. Big smash doesn't follow up smash. You don't, you don't. Stunned. Maybe leave that out of it as well. Just in case. Yeah, my birthday's like right in the beginning of January, so it's sort of like, who's coming out? And everyone's like, nah. <laughs> we've just done Christmas the week after we did New Year's and nobody's got any money or inclination to go out. So yeah, my birthdays have always been like really quiet and boring. Well, most of them have, not all. Okay, we're waiting, waiting for the big cheese now. Let's see if we survive this one. I was going to say something about cats, but maybe not. <laughs> oh, Warner Chapel music. Warner's owned by EMI, who is owned by... Sony, who is, yeah, just sick, isn't it? You watch, somebody uploads, here's, here's little Timmy's 10th birthday, you know, and, and they're like, boom, we're claiming money and putting ads on your video. They're just arseholes. And the, the entire thing is, is what people need to do is never sing it and record it again and they'll be less greedy about who owns it. Because the only reason they want the copyright on it is, is so they can monetize it. It's disgusting. You know, purchasing the music rights to what effectively is, is like a nursery rhyme. I mean, ugh. They're probably making millions out of it as well, you know? That, that, that's another thing that really annoys me about it. They probably are making a ton of money out of it. Oh, here comes Mr. Brown. Artillery commander. There's only one or two seekers. I have no fear. You haven't been at alien events with Space Quest trying to find you. The song is in the public domain in the United States and European Union. Warner Chapel Music Treaties to claim copyright to the song in the US. Collected license fees for the use. To the copyright claim was declared invalid. Oh, they had to pay back the licensing. Oh, that's just delicious. I'm just, I'm just not getting the fear vibe from so few Seekers. I'm just not. It's weird. I've been what are they, desensitized to Seekers. And I, I'm pretty sure it's, you know... <laughs> it's all thanks to Space Quest. <laughs> to the point last night, I charged up a like, swarm of Seekers and Mongo and went... Them and kill me then, and just ran them out of the playfield. Yeah, I used to be afraid of them. I'm just not anymore. It was chat was saying the only thing left to do is just charge at them. 
And it did. That was it. I just stopped being afraid. I still move out of the way of them. But they don't scare me like they used to. I'm going to try and avoid them, but... You know, I'm not an idiot. <laughs> I don't want to die. <laughs> but if, like, there was no option, like... The only way to save the raid is, you know, I'd just charge in there and do it. It just would not... It would not phase me. <laughs> we could edit the Seeker Texture book out his face on it. He probably could. I don't think it would be, be popular, though. Yeah, corporations don't give a toss about people or ethics. They care about making money. That's it. They've always been like that, though. There's never been any different. It wasn't any different. I mean, you can go back and watch 80s movies that shows you what they were like, you know? And they were certainly just as bad before then. A smiley... The smiley face might be funny. Yeah, generally speaking, yeah. At least he was nice enough and waited until you were 216 last night. He didn't. <laughs> he was warping me into the Seekers when we were in uh, Elysium. I didn't hit 216 until we got to Inferno. <laughs> no, did he hell wait? <laughs> he waited till 215. Yeah, I, I even beaconed to my save, which was Inferno Garden, and he, he teleported me back into the middle of them. I was like, screw this, Mongo! <laughs> that was awesome. And all the time I've got it like an open tell window with him and he's just going LOL. <clears throat> I'm not even going to try and bid, I don't think. It's virtually pointless. Tell. I don't even know if ACDC's the best in slot for a, an enforcer, PVM, anyway. And I've got nowhere near enough points, even so. Points. 497. You ain't getting a invasion plan for that. I, I probably wouldn't even get the first bid. <laughs> I'll try, but I doubt it. Yeah, immediately he's got... he's been a bit higher. <laughs> Went straight to 6,000. 8,000. ACDC is best in slot for everything. Yeah, I'm not sure on Enforcer, though. Depends, you know, if you're going to purely... I mean, you might hot-swap stuff, because you've got the Enforcer special. I'd want the drone. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Everything but like LDKP setups where you're constrained by trying to get 2550 ranged in it, yeah. Pump trainee. Most of utility items are crap. Okay. Well, we've got plenty of time to save up points and get them. <laughs>
There's bucket loads of HP and death stats. It's not just a DD item. All right, okay. We'll listen to the consensus and then I'll probably make my own choices anyway. <coughs> like you do. I don't think we're getting a meep. <laughs> we're not in the right team. Beacon! Live red. And... Leave the bot. There we go. Mihalik, right oh, I have to head out. Night night, you all. Yep, yeah, I'm coming to the end now as well, I think. Been a pretty good stream so far. It's been productive. It's been good. Uh, reset to guild, I think. Good night, Mihalik. Wherever you need to go. I think I did most of that raid with my abilities HUD in for some reason, but okay. Um, <laughs> no idea why. <laughs> oh, and my uh, my frube um, mule. <laughs> well done, me. Uh. Right, shall we see if anybody else is streaming the Anarchy online? Let's have a quick look on Twitch, see if anyone else is live at the moment. Yeah, I know I'm live, Twitch, stop. Trying to make it more and more difficult to search for it sometimes, I swear. Arctech TV, testing one, two, three. Quick look. That is not Anarchy Online. That is... What's that game called where you're the little cartoon dudes and one of you's a murderer and the others have got to do tests? Yeah, that ain't Anarchy Online, mate. Um, <clears throat> okay, so not seeing anything there. Anyone we know streaming, perhaps, anywhere? Mr. Gopher, I would guess. Go raid Gopher if he's live. He is. He uses the same theme as me. <laughs> Great minds and all that. Right, okay. We should go raid him. We're going to go raid Mr. Gopher. He probably won't even notice, but <laughs> he will if he's looking. All aboard! Go say hi to Gopher. He's similar sounding to me. Similar a Brit. Same age. Same sort of attitude. Probably more entertaining, though. But, yeah. Okay, then, that's everyone who's going. So, we'll leave it at that. And I will see you tomorrow for whatever. Um, <clears throat> oh, yeah, he has some fantastic rants. They're really, really good. <laughs> they are worth, like, they're solid gold. Some of his rants are just the best. Um, but, yes, I will see you all soon like tomorrow, and thank you for the resubs, the follows, etc., and the raid from court, and I'll just say bye for now. <laughs>